welcome. This is a short video on the Benro GD3WH three-way geared Arca Swiss head. Now I, I purchased uh, this head on eBay and uh, in exchange for which I sold my Manfrotto 410 geared head. In fact I've sold two of them because I own two. Um, and I think this is a perfect replacement, indeed an upgrade, to the 410 head. Uh, the reasons being it's lighter, it's rated for more weight, it's got an integrated Arca Swiss clamp, which was a big thing for me, and it's got bubbles for all the axes. Now for the same price that I sold both of my uh, 410 heads, I managed to purchase this on eBay brand new, shipped from China. So it's a fantastic bargain for what it is. Just a few things to bear in mind that you might not uh, appreciate from any other videos. First of all, if you want to attach this to a Gitzo uh, tripod, or a similar tripod with a flat base, by which I mean something like this, uh, you will need to add an additional tripod spacer, such as a Manfrotto tripod spacer, because this head will not screw onto uh, a flat base. The, um, the rotation levers will get in the way, so you will need to space that, or alternatively get the column attachment. And you can uh, uh, attach it, uh, you can screw it on uh, with, a, with, a, with a column and it will give you the clearance that you need to um, adjust and rotate it. Uh, not to its full extent, you will find that it will, at the extremes, um, uh, be touching the, the tripod base. Um, but the benefit of it being an arc of clamp is that you can put your your camera on it and if you can't get the full uh, rotation one way you can always just turn the camera around and use the, tri use the tripod head the other way around. By default um, the, the, the mechanism works opposite to the 410 head so with the 410 head your release lever is facing towards you but the way the um, axis knobs are knurled, the way you use them, the release lever is actually at the lens end of the camera. Um, so that doesn't, that doesn't bother me at all, it's just uh, a thing to note. Another thing to note, which is a positive, is that the um, Arca uh, knob is a two-stage knob, so you can loosen it to adjust the, the, the base, and then if you want to remove your camera, you have to additionally pull it out and then turn it further. The nice thing is, uh, the knob is, is stopped, so you, you won't go, you, there's no risk of, of completely unscrewing the mechanism. Now what I have noticed in use is that when you set the position of your uh, tripod head, uh, you can find there's a tiny little bit of, of of play in, 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 in the axis. Um, not so as that it will affect your shot, but if you're concerned about it at all, you will be able to just turn the, the, the dial back on itself just a millimeter or two and that will, that will lock it completely into place and prevent it from moving. So the handle works in, uh, in each, each axis works in, in two, two stages. One you have the the general travel, uh, which is a, a knurled nut uh, closer to the unit itself, and then the one on the outside controls the fine, fine movement. And of course the great benefit is having an integrated Arca Swiss clamp and in fact for the same price as upgrading your 410 head with a Hegenar 
or Hena, or whatever it's pronounced, um, Arca plate, you can buy one of these brand new. I think it's a fantastic product and I, I recommend it without reservation. I'm keenly awaiting my Benro 100mm um, uh, filter system holder, which again looks like a fantastic design. And when that arrives, I'll do a little um, video on that too. Thanks for watching.